Welcome back to another video for Storage Chasers. Yes, uh, we won another unit yesterday that we got to go pick up. It was an accidental win. I'll explain that to you probably later in the video. But for now, stay tuned so you can follow the adventure. Okay, we made it to our facility here. We are at a uh, Cube Smart in uh, Elgin, 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 which is just basically on the side of Columbia, of South Carolina. We paid a whopping, whew, yes, $680 for this unit. After all applicable fees, and let me make sure I'm showing it in the camera instead of reading it. Uh, after all applicable fees, we paid $700.40. And we're going to look at some pictures, as we always do. Bring pictures, people. Bring pictures. All right, so this is what the unit's supposed to look like. It's got, uh, you can see some scaffolding. looks like some TV boxes and stuff. And then there was uh, some TV boxes, TVs standing up. And this is the live scaffolding, some TV boxes, some kind of cobalt something. I don't know what it is. There's a tall ladder in here. There's a bunch of styrofoamy and some TVs, and there's more TVs, and uh, yeah, these TVs still have the plastic on the edges, but some of them look like, like they were they were used before, possibly, possibly. Some look new. There's TVs everywhere. All right, this box is empty. This has got a TV in it. Um, there's more boxes back there, there's boxes back there, here's a, here's a box here that still feels sealed, so I don't know, there's a couple in here that look like they're still sealed, <clears throat> uh, these look like 65 inch, 65 inch, 65 inch, those boxes there say 50 inch TVs, so if we can, if these match up with the boxes and they work and we got remotes and stuff, then we will be doing good. There's a whole bunch of the feet for them. Yeah. All right. I like, I like the scaffolding. That's kind of cool. It's a little, you know, maybe 150 bucks or something. Uh, kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get this uh, emptied out, loaded up, and uh, we will get back to you as soon as it's done. All right, unit 2098. Cleaned out, wall to wall to wall to door, all nice and clean, swept out. Have the uh, last two TVs here and the ladder to go in the trailer. And we're going to head back to the office and get our deposit back. Welcome back to our home base of operations. I was told that uh, I need to just jump right in and show you only the interesting stuff in the unit. But we only had interesting stuff in the unit, so yeah. I'm going to go through it as quick as possible, make it as painless for those who don't enjoy it, and for those who want to see everything that I actually get, let me know that as well. Alright, the first thing we got here is a 30 by 30, or 27 by 30, 30 by 32, OD and ID, and this is a drain plate for a uh, laundry machine. So you put your laundry machine in there, and it's got the little four little spots where you can put, or two spots where you can put the drain plug. To drain the water down yeah brand new always a good item here is a brand spank a newish blue hawk uh, baby size little flat shovel um, probably won't sell that probably keep that just because it's kind of cute you know we like that uh, this is the scaffolding that was in the unit it's a uh, fold upable or collapsible whichever you prefer but yeah it's got the got plates here Pop those off, fold it up, it compresses down, and yeah, not too bad. Got four pretty decent casters on there. Got a lot of uh, drywall mud stuck to it everywhere, too. So, um, you know, maybe I can clean it up and sell it. I don't really have a use for one of these all the time, but we'll see. Uh, I'll see that for a minute. Uh, we got this 200-pound uh, uh, Werner extension ladder. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. It's a 16-footer. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably end up selling that one because I need a little bit heavier, duty one because, uh, yeah, 200 pounds is 
not going to quite do it all the time for me, but we'll see. Uh, we found all of this uh, molding trim. Let me get down here closer so you can see it. Yeah, pretty interesting. It's all uh, already pre-primered and stuff. I mean, I may be able to use this in my house too. Got a whole bunch of sticks of it. They appear to be um, roughly eight foot. So we'll see. <laughs> see if we can use them. Uh, then we got this uh, cobalt item here that we weren't too sure about. But if we look on the end down here, it actually says it's a cobalt. Let me see if I can show you on the camera. It's a miter saw stand is what it is. Got a model number and other stuff like that. Got these uh, four foldable legs and, you know, you just uh, push the button in and pop out the legs. And it's got the little tripod. And it basically will sit like this but taller. So, yeah, and then you can put, put the, extend the sides out and put your longer boards on there to, uh, to cut them when you're mitering. So, yeah, interesting, very interesting. Okay, uh, back to the bag. Don't want to bore you guys. I know. All right, in the bag here, we just collected everything that was loose in the unit. Uh, there was an extension cord here and a whole bunch of um, the wires and the stands for uh, the TVs that you saw. That, you saw in the unit as well packing materials and paperwork and stuff like that uh, we found out that this unit was uh, owned by previously because now it's owned by me was previously owned by a person who installed tvs into like sports bars and stuff which was kind of my concern when i started bidding on the unit and uh, it turned out to be true so my guess was that the TVs had been like taken down and then they put new ones up in the sports bar so all of all the ones that I have are broken. And that may be the case. I have to test every single one of them. But uh, then again, I also uh, didn't want to pay this much for this unit. I made a mistake on bidding. So you have to be <laughs> alert when you're bidding because I was sitting in front of the computer and uh, you know looking at all the other items in the unit. I figured it was going to be, uh, you know, 150 to 200 dollar range uh, it was at about 140 so I put in a type started to type in my bid of a one and I was going to put in like a proxy of 180 and uh, I waited and I saw it click up so then I went and I hit 180 which actually as many of you are about to know now is 1180 when you've already put in a one expect you know expecting the Put your bid in and i clicked and sent it and yeah without thinking because i'm trying to do it fast before i can get my bid jumped on too too quick but yeah and then i noticed where it was and yeah wasn't pretty anyway this is uh, all that's left from the unit we have uh let me go in here all right we've got uh these are 50 inch tvs we have also some 50 inch TVs here and we have 65 inch TVs. Uh, these boxes, we put TVs in the boxes so that they were, you know, could travel really well. We don't know if they work uh, or anything like that. We haven't checked any of these TVs at all, but we put them in the boxes. The 65 inch ones, we're hoping that they work. These are all Vizio, V series, 4K, uh, smart TV boxes that these TVs came out of. So we're hoping that some of them will work so that we can recoup our, our little bit of money that we spent on this unit. Uh, I'm gonna test all of these here, but the first ones I'm gonna get to are probably gonna be these, the loose ones. <clears throat> these eight here uh, are ones that I can already see that they have. I don't know if the camera will do, do it justice, but it looks like somebody you know, hit it with something here and it's got crack marks in it and stuff. Uh, some of these other ones you'll see it a little bit better depending on the shadowing on it but these ones here have that where they have that rainbow pattern so you can kind of tell something hit it like this one something struck it right here and it's cracked and going up and uh, this one has rainbow pattern but it doesn't look super bad uh, this one has a crack in it or a crease in it um, the same with this one here it's got like that rainbowish pattern so those may not work at all these ones I couldn't tell really if they had rainbow patterns on them or not. 
but they don't look as bad so I'm hopeful hopefully it's not going to be that bad right but we've got uh, let's see we've got uh, 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 uh, 50 inch TVs that we have to uh, test and then we've got the four 65 inch TVs that we have to test and then if they do test right then we're going to go through and make sure like in the boxes that the stand is in the box there's paperwork in the box there's remotes in the boxes so that I can sell these either on marketplace or take them to the flea market and try and sell them that way so that's where we're at with this unit here um, yeah, not too bad. It was a decent, uh, decent trip. Nice, short, sweet video. Like I said, this is all the miscellaneous stuff that we'll try to pair up with the, uh, with the, uh, the stuff. Uh, I don't know if there's any remotes in here, but I mean, like I said, most of these have the stands. Oh, there's a remote. You know, there's remotes like this. So it's a Hisense Roku TV remote, and there was no Hisense TVs in there, so I don't know. Maybe that'll fit something that we do got. But, uh, or maybe it'll hit, yeah, high sense TV. So, this and this all goes together, I'm sure. So, yeah, if I ever find a TV that's a high sense Roku one, I have the remote for it. But, yeah, a lot of paperwork, some wires, plugs. We've got everything we need to test them. I just got to do it, get the time to do it now. And we have to do it because I have to empty the trailer out so that we can uh, pack it right back up to go to the flea market at 3 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So, as you can see we've got a little bit of inclement weather coming in so I've got to get it done out of here into storage and our storage is already pretty full so rearranging reorganizing and probably throwing away some stuff just so I can make room for uh, our new TVs and I will be the new TV salesman for probably a month and a half while we try to filter through some of these <laughs> but uh, please like share subscribe comment all of that good stuff and as always we will talk to you later Alright, just wanted to insert a quick little uh, update in here. Checked uh, all 18 of the 50 inch TVs. They all have cracked screens and they don't work. Checked uh, all four of the 65 inch uh, Vizio smart TVs and they all have cracked screens too. So, all those, all those, and this one, yeah, all nothing. <laughs> I just uh, wanted to let you guys know because I know that some of you guys will be messaging me saying, oh, how, how many TVs worked and all that. Well, none of them worked. None of them worked. They're all trash, which is what I had suspected when I first saw the unit. And I was only bidding on the uh, couple of uh, larger items that I knew I could sell easily for, you know, a quick couple hundred bucks. But, uh, yeah, uh, my mistake uh, cost me a little more than I wanted to. But, yeah, that's what happens.